I'm hoping that everybody has looked at these time management things because these bolts are pretty easy. Get any discussion on that, Bruce? I'll leave it with the conversation. Okay. And that, you know, I, you know, I would suggest that we look at meeting starting at after five. I understand land use needs to be earlier, but I mean, you know, I, I would like to see more citizen participation. No, I don't like getting home late at night, but at the same time, I think it's unfair um, to have um, to, to keep people out of the process just because of the time we decide to meet. And, and I realize that um, we've got a, uh, we don't have a lot of participation. And you know, like I mean, government operations doesn't get a ton of people, uh, and so I mean. It, to my, my way of thinking, it would be nice that we would give a little more leeway for the citizens. And, and I, again, I realize that puts burden on staff, and I'm very much aware of that. But at the same time, you know, I think it comes with the territory. Thank you, Madam President. I, I would concur with that. Is there some way, from staff's perspective, that, uh, I mean, I know we have uh, exempt employees here, but would they? Uh, would we have someone, or could we give comp time for people after five? That the scheduling is not an issue. It's that, you know, whatever you all desire. I, I think I think whoever made this comment is trying to go with some consistency in terms of the start time. No, okay. We can certainly work on scheduling on what we need to do. Uh, and I'm sure the department heads will make that adjustment. Well, I, I, I appreciate this. That. Excuse me. Uh, Weaver, I appreciate your dedication here. I'm, I'm, uh, and your willingness for staff to be there and, uh, when we need them to be. I'm just trying to be somewhat of a, uh, trying to help the, our staff out in particular, the administration to kind of take care of yeah, I can't their speak staff. The administration. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, but I know that people work very hard on our staff and I, and I I mean, they didn't run for office like the nine of us did. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I'd like, they did, absolutely. Uh, but I'd just like some consideration to be to be given to that. Uh, uh, I'm just leave it that. We have, I would like to leave that up to the, to the particular chairman. I mean, land use has so many papers coming in front of it. And it's hard to start at 5 o'clock. You'll be here at 10 o'clock. Yeah, and, and you did. I so recognize that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. Try. Um, I think, um, yeah, I, I think that the majority of the citizens probably feel like if you're having a public meeting, a public body meeting, that it should be held at a time when most of the public can get there. So, you know, I don't have any opposition to that at all. Um, I do think that the committee should have the capacity to consider that if there are, if we <coughs> consider using part of our committee time as work session time, that we should have the capacity to be able to do those things. But where there's public, there are, there are papers, there's ordinance, those things that are related to public comments and public having uh, a voice and helping us to make those kinds of choices and decisions, I think, to have it at a reasonable time in the afternoon that the public can get there. And if, and we can shape <coughs> our gender so that those things that are more just work-related than are informational, uh, we may can start them a little bit earlier for that, you know, in cases that that brings it to us. All right, so um, I, should, I think what I hear is that it would be that we want more public participation, but that we would leave it up to the chairs in terms of saying time to meeting or not. That's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that from Mr. Connor mm -hmm. and Mr. No, I'm saying that you know I'm saying that I think that the community should start at five o'clock. <coughs> We have opportunity for the public to be involved or five or six or whatever time people go home and shower and eat dinner and show up at eight o'clock or whatever. Um, yeah. But you know, we start council meetings at six. 
Uh, so, you know, to be able to start committee meetings, uh, you know, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, which is 5, 5 30, which time most people get off from work. Um, and, um, that, and then we, we adopt that as a policy unless we feel that there is a particular committee that should be an exception to the rule. I think if you're going to, I'm sorry. I think if you're going to have exceptions, you need to leave it at the discretion of the chair. The chair is the one that's got to run this. That chair is the one that's been appointed to run this by the president. And uh, the chair is the one that's going to have to be there. I think, I think you've got to make sure that, uh, well, I think it needs to be at the discretion of the chair if we're going to start making exemptions. Mr. Joel? I, I, I would concur. But with what you're saying, it's that government ops is a little different from most committees and it involves mm -hmm. all staff, um, administrative accounts, uh, staff, uh, most administrative staff. And uh, if there's an exception to 5 o'clock, it ought to be that one. And we're just saying, I think what I'm hearing Charles say, is if you're going to have to have exceptions, just go ahead with the chair, determine when the meetings. Yeah, I think the thing is that we and our staff could say yes or no. What I think what they're asking is that the meeting times be consistent. If land use meets at 3 o'clock this month and 4 o'clock next month and 3 o'clock uh, next month, that consistent, that, that doesn't work. I got you. But to have a consistent time that you're going to meet, that's it. I think that's what I'm about. Okay. Did anybody look through logistics? Any questions on logistics? 